Now, when it comes to you owning a Labrador Retriever, consistency is key, routine is key, and especially when it comes to training your Labrador puppy. So in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about three things that you should be doing with your Labrador puppy every single day to help set you and them up for amazing amounts of success. So when it comes to training tips that you should be doing with your puppy every day, I wanna talk about three in this video to really help set you up for success so that you can have amazing Labradors just like these two. And the first tip I want to talk about is what I call my meal time drill. I cannot stress enough what a bad idea it is to leave food down for your dog. Now, that might seem harsh and you just want to give them their food and let them kind of come and get it whenever they want or whenever they're hungry, but it is such a wasted opportunity. And if you do just this one thing every single day, you will be setting yourself up for amazing amounts of success. And that is with my mealtime drill and it's incredibly simple. All it requires is a sit, stay and break routine. So you teach the dog that they they have to sit down like this and you ask them for a stay. You then put the bowl of food down in front of them and remind them to stay and they have to wait doing exactly this where they're looking up to you for guidance and direction until you tell them and give them their break command that lets them know that they can then have access to that food. Now what that does is life changing for you and for your dog. It's great for working on obedience in terms of the actual sit and the stay and therefore helps massively with impulse control but it's the knock on ramifications that are life changing because what that means is you're gonna have a dog that's doing this right now. I haven't asked for this. These dogs just want to be with me. They want to work with me they're seeking guidance and direction from me they're looking up to me for guidance and direction and they're doing that because they see me as their loving leader and one of the main reasons that has caused this is because every single meal time from day one I insisted on doing this mealtime drill. So they understand that everything good in their life comes through me. And for them to gain access to it, all they need to do is sit, be well-mannered, calm, patient, looking up to me for guidance and direction. And if they do those things, they get rewarded and praised. And I've got a pocket full of treats. I always keep toys with me and they can have amazing things, they can go and play, but to gain access to anything that they deem a high resource, they sit and look up to me for guidance and direction, and the best way you can achieve that is by instilling a mealtime drill. Which then takes me into my second tip. If the mealtime drill is probably the most important thing I think you can do every single day, the second most important, if not joint most important, is teaching your dogs to be able to go on a loose lead walk every single day, tapping into their natural desire to migrate as a pack. And then it's down to you. Are you going to allow your dog to pull and run a walk ahead of you and for them to be leading the pack migration? Or are you going to teach a nice loose lead walk where you're leading that pack migration. If you choose the latter, you're further driving in that message that they must always look up to you for guidance and direction, that you are their calm, consistent and loving leader. Pair a loose lead pack migration with mealtime drills every single day and I guarantee that alone will ensure that you have the foundations of an impeccable Labrador Retriever. Which takes us on to my third point, and that is about the power of this, eye contact. You'll hear me in my many different videos across my many different channels here on YouTube or over on my Instagram about the importance of a dog that looks up to you for guidance and direction. So if you can be working on your mealtime drill to help facilitate that, working on loose lead pack migration to help facilitate that, but also finding other opportunities where you reward and encourage your Labrador to make eye contact with you. What that means is that they are then looking up to you for guidance and direction. And a dog that's looking up to you for guidance and direction is an easy dog to guide and direct. 
A dog that isn't looking up to you for guidance and direction, is obsessing about other things and everything other than you, is then an incredibly difficult dog to guide and to direct. So focus on building this kind of engagement where the dog is looking up to you for guidance and direction. Do that through the power of mealtime drills. Do that through the power of pack migration and then everything else in you and your Labrador's life becomes significantly easier. And I promise you, you will not regret it.